Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and today we're taking a look at everything we know about ZBrush for iPad at this point. Now, I'm sure I'm wrong about things. I'm sure I miss plenty of things, so let me know in the comments below. So a few months back at the Apple event, they launched, you know, some video footage. We're just going to take a look and run through this. So let's go ahead and start with the brushes. We've got our standard brush, of course. Right next to that, this is clay. Clay buildup, rake, flatten, pinch, snake hook, inflate. This looks to be like a trim dynamic. Move, move topological, move infinite depth, paint. And then we've got just some ZBrush matte caps. So those are currently the only brushes, as far as I'm aware, that we know are in there. This is a solid selection. Um, actually, damn standard is in there, but it's not on this image. There's some video video footage that we'll be rolling through that you can see damn standard in there. So I'm sure there's plenty of other brushes uh, that are out there. So other things that we can gather from this is obviously the selected brush. We have different stroke types. So this would be like a spray or dots or drag rectangle, things like that. We have an alpha. ZBrush did announce that you can just take pictures with the iPad and then use those for textures or your alpha, which, you know, could be pretty cool. I don't think I'll ever use it. Appears to be the lighting, brush size, undo, redo, nothing important there. This would be sculpting. This would be drawing. Move, rotate, scale. So probably a gizmo. I doubt they'll have the transpose line, but maybe, maybe they will. Uh, right here, Sculptress Pro. That's important. That'll be good. All boring stuff. Nothing interesting there. Same thing over here. This is all symmetry. This is all stuff that you know. Solo mode is available. This one tells us just a little bit more. Uh, we are currently in our subtool palette, which is super helpful. Inside that subtool palette, we have things like hide and unhide your subtools. Things that are not present here would be like the live Boolean feature. So it doesn't appear to be inside of the iPad uh, version. We have split, merge, super helpful. And in the video footage, this guy is extracting like crazy, which brings us to masking. There is lasso masks as well as painting masks. There might be others, but that's as far as I know. We have the geometry section. In there, there has to be Z remesher. That is definitely in there based on the footage as well as Dynamesh. Thick skin, uh, we have surface, surface noise. We have our defer deformation. So, you know, twists, inflates, all that fun stuff. Visibility, poly groups, super important. Poly paint as well. Everything else is kind of boring. Oh, we also have silhouette here. In the video footage, it appears he was using insert mesh, which would be pretty cool. You can obviously apply for the beta. I have applied. I have not heard anything back from that. Poly paint, super awesome. So simply click and drag your fingers across the digital clay to make your mark or pin driven modes. So touch and pin, which is super, super great. I know people wanted both. So now we're at the frequently asked questions. Some of these have been updated. So that is great. Is ZBrush for iPad being completely redesigned? ZBrush for iPad is going undergoing a complete redesign, meticulously crafted from the ground up to optimize every feature for an unparalleled sculpting experience on the iPad. Short answer, yes, it is. Can I share files between desktop and iPad? That's a question that I had. Yes, you can easily transfer projects between ZBrush for desktop and ZBrush for iPad, maintaining seamless workflow continuity across devices. Now, hopefully this is very, very seamless, like not upload to Google Drive and re-download, things like that. Time will tell. Can I work at exceptionally high poly counts? In ZBrush for iPad, you can seamlessly manipulate high polygon models with precision and ease, ensuring unparalleled detail in your digital creations. We shall see. When will ZBrush for iPad be available? We plan to launch in 20 2024. So they're still saying 2024. My guess is, what is it? October? When's the ZBrush Summit? Yep. That's, that's when it's going to happen. And how much will it cost? Pricing will be announced at our launch event. Sign up to get alerts. So let me know in the comments what I missed. Uh, what are you hoping to see? Is this enough of a full featured app right now, as is with everything that we know that you would buy it. I know it all depends on the price. That is the, other than features, I think the price is most important at this point.